Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, Blanca. Hello, Ana. Carlos, welcome to the class. Hello, Good Lee. Evening. Hello, Good evening. Nelson. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Welcome. How are Good you today? Thank you. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Do you still have a lot of energy? Or so so? How is your battery like? With a lot of energy or little? Yes, energy. <laughs> a lot of energy. A lot of okay, that's the energy. What time did you finish working, Anna? What time did you finish? Uh, for thirty. For thirty p.m. Four. Four thirty. Four thirty. Ah, okay. That's that's a very good schedule. You finish in the afternoon. That's nice. What time do you start? It's seven, seven a.m. Seven a.m. Mm -hmm. I like I like the schedule you have. It's cool. And you, Lily, what is your job schedule? What time do you start and what time do you finish? Uh, what do you start? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes. And finish four o'clock. You finish at four. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Before I continue, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue with the class. Hold on. Okay, so we start with Ana Beatriz. I'm sorry, Present. yes, Ana Beatriz Campos. Okay, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Present. Diane Present. Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Janine. Jose Galileo, Jose Rodrigo, Laura Carolina, Luis Alfonso, María Concepción, María Elena, María Ivania, Nelson Gavarrete. Magir Miss. Thank you. Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, Zaira Marleni. Wendy Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Santos. Christian Lazo. Present Miss. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Uh, Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. Thank you. And Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Galileo Hi. is here. Good evening. Hi, Galileo. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Okay, Galileo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's let's begin. We will start with the alphabet. We will try to remember the alphabet. Okay, so Carlos, can you tell me the first five letters of the alphabet? What are the first five? letters of the alphabet. C, D. One D. more time. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Can you repeat, yes. please? Please repeat the first five, las primeras cinco, the first five letters of uh. the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, A. Thank you. A, B, C, D, E, yes. Juan Carlos, can you continue? The next five. A, F, G, H, I, J. Thank you. Galileo, continue with the next five. K, L, M, N, O. Mm -hmm. Wendy, the next five. B, 
Q-U-R-S-T. Mm -hmm. Now let's continue with Christian. What's next? Are you there, Christian? No. Blanca? You WXYZ. Okay, thank you. Now we will do this. I'm going to tell you a category, and you have to tell me words about that category. Yo les voy a dar una categoría y una letra y ustedes tienen que decir una palabra que esté asociada con eso. Okay, I will give you the category and you tell me some words. For example, let's think about countries. Let's imagine this is the category, countries. And I say, okay, Blanca, M. You have to think about a country with M. Okay? Yo les doy the category y la letter. Y ustedes me dan la palabra. Okay? Questions before we start? No. No entendí, teacher. No. Okay. Yo les voy a dar la categoría. Una categoría y aquí está el alfabeto. Ustedes tienen que pensar en una palabra que esté en esa categoría. Por ejemplo, si es countries y yo digo M, usted tiene que pensar en un país que empiece con M en inglés. Hoy sí. Yes. Ok. Ya entendí. All right. So we will start with countries. And let's begin with Wendy. R, Wendy. Oh. Uh, Argentina? No, R. <laughs> that one ah. begins with A. From. 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 Okay, yes, from, it's fine. Mayra, letter P. A country with P. Uh, creo que alcanza a oír que era, teacher. Uh, tengo que decirle una. Como me está diciendo B, tendría que ser un país con esa letra, ¿verdad? En inglés. Yes, yes. Ahí creo que Bolivia. With B. Así. Ah, party. la chiquita. Ay, por Dios santo. Uh, Venezuela. With B. B as in, as in party. Ah, ah. Yes. Mm. A country with P. P. Uh -huh. Peru. Ajá. Peru. Ajá. Peru. Ajá. Ajá. Or Pakistan could be another place. Okay. Thank you. Now, Lily, letter G. A country that starts with G. Lo voy a pensar, pero no me acuerdo. <laughs> And you have five seconds. Okay, ten seconds to think about it. Tiene que comenzar al inicio de la palabra o puede ir en medio. Mm -mm. At the beginning. No. Oh, okay, no I, I have two, two places in mind. Let's see, Juan Carlos and you, do you have one idea? Things you can find inside no. your house. Uh, but we are in the previous one. This no? is this is a country, a country with G. Germany, no. England. Uh -huh. Yes. England. I'm sorry. Repeat, Juan Carlos. Germany. Uh -huh. Ireland. 
But it's with G. Thailand. G. Uh -huh. uh, and not Germany. Germany. Next. Any other possibility? Uh, In English. Always, always G. Yes. Grecia is one, but how do you say Grecia in, in English? Ah, okay. But that one in English is with W, Wells. Gales sería con W in English. Okay. <laughs> okay, but Greece, that is Grecia in English. It could be Greece. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, let's change the category. Hoy sí la vamos a cambiar. Let's change the category. Things you can find inside your house. We will start with Nelson. Nelson, letter A. Something that you find inside a house. A. A, 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 A. A. <laughs> In A is the this uh, apple? Apples, yes. We find apples, right? When we go to the supermarket, we, we get apples. Okay, Oscar. Oh, something that we can find inside our homes with O. Oh. Give me one moment, I think. <laughs> okay. Not food, okay, not food. It has to be an object, not food. Oranges, no. <laughs> if you were thinking about oranges, no. It has to be an object with letter O. Only beginning with... Aha, uh -huh, it has to start with O. I don't look. Orange. No. No orange. I don't look. Okay. Let's no. ask for help. Can you help Ivania? Something that we can find at home with O? Um, child, but with O. Table. O. Ah, O. Mm -hmm. In English, with O, inside the house. No, teacher, no remember. No. Okay. Let's see, yeah. Anna. Can you help us, Anna? Something with O? Mm. On sofa. Re repeat. All, all the sofa. All the all sofa. sofa. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Let's count that one. Aha, uh -huh. and all sofa. Do you guys have other ideas? No sé si alguien más tenía otra idea. Other ideas Over. with O. Repeat. Over. Porno. Ah, an oven. oven. Porno. Oven. Yes, that's another one. An oven in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, last one. Let's continue with Laura. Tell us something, Laura, that we can find inside your, well, our homes with Y. Something that starts with Y. Que empiece con Y. Yeah. Inside your house. Eh, no remember teacher <laughs> no eh, why no <laughs> no se okay. me ocurre let's see Omar no. an object or something that we can find inside our homes with why are you there Omar no. Wendy, do you have one idea? Win. Yo, yo. <laughs> you know. 
But uh, you that's why it goes with wine. Wine. Why? Why? Dijimos why. Uh huh. Sorry, Anna. Washing. Why? Es con why, con la Y. Uh -huh. And I don't know. Oh, right. uh -huh. Why? This is the letter. Someone? Is there anyone? There are many things, many things in our houses. A yacht. A yacht. A yacht, teacher. Mm. Well, I don't think we have that at home. Any other possibility? And dogs. <laughs> Maybe the yard could be one possibility, like the garden. That's the yard, can be one. That's the one I have in mind right now. Okay, it's just a vocabulary exercise. So you can remember different words, different words when we start the class. Okay, let's continue. Today, we start unit number two, and we will talk about simple present. We're going to study simple present. And, okay, Carlos, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Question number one. What is a regular day at work like? Tell us a normal day for you at work, like your normal routine when you go to the office. Um, I, take the, um, I take the coffee. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, check my emails. Mm -hmm. Um, speak with my co-workers about the work or about the activities. Mm -hmm. Uh, the mirror with my boss. You have a meeting with your boss. Okay, yes. that's good. Thank you, Carlos. Ivania, how busy are you in a normal day at work? How busy are you? Ivania, are you there? Here, teacher. How busy? Do you remember the meaning of busy, Ivania? ¿Se recuerda qué es busy? No. 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 Busy, busy means ocupado. How busy? Do you have many activities at work? Or do you have a lot of free yes. time? Mm -hmm. Many activities. For example, can you tell us one or two activities that you have at work? I uh, review the, the check. Check, mm -hmm. check us. Okay, you review um, check. Um, Integrate the cuen cuentas. Accounts. Uh -huh. At At in the open the open financia financia financial months. Ah, okay. Financial months. You do financial activities in your workplace. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ivani, yes, for sí. the information. Galileo, what is a common day to you? What do you usually do at work? I usually come to work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I check in in the principal access. 
Mm -hmm. uh, soon I turn on my computer and the first of all, I check my emails. And then I, I take uh, or I send some answer about the emails I read. Uh, you respond uh, emails. Yeah, I, I respond emails, emails. Mm -hmm. And at least two or three days a week, mm -hmm. I check my stock inventory. Okay, all right. I, I, go, um, I check the production area too and import area too. I check both areas because I am logistic manager. Mm -hmm. You have many things to do, many responsibilities, then, because it's a many. it's a I high, uh -huh, big occupation. Thank you, Galileo, for yeah. telling us a little bit about the activities. You're I welcome. imagine you have a lot more, <laughs> a lot more to say, but yeah. those are some. We I, will I, listen. Uh -huh. I like my my job. <laughs> that is excellent. It's better. We enjoy what we do. Okay, let's continue with the conversation. I'm going to say it first, and then it's your turn to practice pronunciation. We have Will and Orson. Just hold on. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does, who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, now it's your turn. We will listen to Nelson and Christian. Christian, can you participate, Christian? Please send me a message okay. if you hear me. You can. No, miss. You can't. No, can't. No problem. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let me take notes. No problem. So in that case, let's continue with Nelson and Omar. Can you participate? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Nelson, you are Will, and Omar, you are Orson. Okay. The chicken looks great. Does who is share of cleaning it? Jessica is clean the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. I did, but doesn't now Jessica stay order during the morning shift? No, she, no, she does not. Jordi does. He stays. Um, teacher, is there another mm -hmm. part of it? No, she does. I, George. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Maria also. No, she does not. George does. He take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah, uh, I give Here. it a um, good choice after Jim does his brother take the order after him. Yes, he does. Okay. okay, thank you, Nelson and, and Omar. Okay, 
just this one is kitchen hi arnoldo nice to have you here is your daughter better now yes ah, okay. she's she's okay in this moment ah okay i'm glad to hear that welcome to the class arnoldo we are practicing yeah. pronunciation thanks for asking mm -hmm. okay so the one here kit kitchen that is the pronunciation Nelson. can you please repeat kitchen 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 yes kitchen okay uh -huh. kitchen thank you okay sounds cool let's continue with mayra let's listen to mayra and oscar mayra you go first you are will okay this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In this book, doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Continue. Uh, Sorry, could you repeat? No, no she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take their orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, there we go. Very, very good. You did it very good. So now we will continue with okay, Juan Carlos. We will listen to Juan Carlos and Lily. Juan Carlos, you are Will. And Lily, Orson. I can hear you, teacher. Um, it's me, Will. You are Will, Juan Carlos. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. The kitchen looks great. This I kitchen does, looks great. I ask who is in charge of cleaning it. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take sorry during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George, does the does he take order from 10 a.m. to I get it. PM. Sorry. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos and Lily. And now let's go with Ellie and Anna. Are you here, Ellie? Do you hear me? Ellie? No? Okay, so Laura. Anna and Laura. Anna, you are Will. Laura, you are Orson. All right. Okay. This chicken looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She's cleaning the chicken from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In the book, doesn't Jessica take others during the morning shirts? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 p.m. and a.m. to 2 p.m. I guess it's and who does after him? 
does his brother take others as per gym? In? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Anna, can you say this, this word one more time? Oh. Really? This part. Going this to... chicken. Kitchen. All right. Kitchen. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh, because kitchen. that's the animal. Yes. Okay. It's so kitchen. kitchen. Yes. yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Besides that, you did well. All right. Thank you, Anna and, and Laura. Did you find new vocabulary? I I marked the word indeed. It's exactly okay. When you emphasize that something is true, you can say indeed, like exactly, absolutely. Yes, correct. Did you find new words? Blanca, do you have questions? For Christian, Galileo, Wendy? No? For me, teacher, indeed. Is exactly. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it's a synonym. Aha, Galileo. In 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 this is a new vocabulary for me, but um, I look at I look for for it in Google and mm -hmm. say, por supuesto. Aha, uh -huh. it's like it's exactly. A synonym, mm -hmm. It's a synonym. Okay. When you when you just want to I, emphasize. That something is true. Okay. So uh, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, the phrase morning shift is a new vocabulary for me too. Uh, morning shift. I found, uh -huh. found like uh, movimiento de la mañana, something like that. Um, or a different, for example, if you work from let's say in the morning you have a morning shift other people work at night they have a night shift it's like jornada that is one word you can use morning shift and night shift afternoon shift okay uh-huh okay I we have Thank you. excellent we have some questions about this if there are some questions we are going to answer to practice comprehension. Okay, question number one. Let's listen to, let me see, Arnoldo. Okay, Arnoldo. Question number one. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Who? Jessica is. Aha, uh -huh. Jessica. Jessica is. In this case, we will say Jessica does. I will I will teach you this later, but Jessica does. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo. Brian, can you participate? Can you participate, Brian? No. Okay, in that case, let's continue with question number two. Ivania, what does Jorge, what does Jorge do? What does Jorge do? Okay, don't worry, we will help you in that case. 
Ellie, do you have a comment? The what the horse um, I think you have the other device very close to you. El otro, el otro aparato que está conectado a Zoom está muy cerca de ti. Eso está causando la, la interferencia. Ok. Let's okay, see. <laughs> Blanca, what about you? What does Jorge do? Okay, he takes what? No, we can we can help you, no problem. Galileo, do you have a an answer for that question? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Jorge takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thank you, Galileo. So, yes, that is the answer. It's over here. Jorge. And then it says, he takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That is what he does. Question number three. Nelson, when does Jorge's brother take orders george oh or his I brother. No hello mm -hmm. uh, takes order uh, ¿qué es lo que hace jorge algo así después the de brother. Dice, takes order after his brother his yes. brother uh-huh takes order after his brother when what time or in which moment in the moment is the two o'clock. So, so Nelson, kind of, you kind of have the idea. Let's, let's ask Omar. Let's see Omar, can you help Nelson? What do you think Omar? Mayra, help Mayra. Yo creo after him. After him. Mm -hmm. So let's say from 2 p.m. till the moment the company closes. It doesn't say when he finishes but he starts like at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So after Jorge, yes. Good, Mayra, thank you. Mm, That's okay. the answer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the participation. Now we're going to study simple present. Okay, we will practice simple present. And I'm going to share with you some some information hold on okay we will remember how to use simple present there are two versions of simple present right hay dos versiones de simple present for the así. we have two groups Let's say version one and let's say version two. Version, version two. 
Juan Carlos, do you remember the formula? The formula that we use with simple present. Subject plus verb plus complementation or complement. Thank you. Yes, that is the, the formula that we use. I'm going to put it here. Okay, this is the, the formula. And the same here. And the use, okay, this is the use that we will study. We can use simple present in different ways. Podemos utilizar simple present de diferentes maneras, right? Today we will study one of them. Ahora vamos a estudiar uno de los usos. Okay, so use. We use simple present with program activities, okay? Let's use simple present with program activities or planned activities, scheduled activities, actividades programadas, okay? Program activities, plan activities, algo que ya está planeado, okay? We have, maybe we even have it in the calendar, quizás ya lo tenemos con, en el calendario, que okay? Ya está, que así va a ser. Example, let's say the class, okay, the class or the English class, the class starts at 8 p.m. Every day. This is a program activity, right? Ya está planeado. 8 p.m. The class starts. Okay? No changes. Example number two. The, the class finishes at 10 p.m. It's a program activity. Ya está programado. We have the program. It, it finishes at 10 p.m. Number three. Then, let's see. The movie. The movie in, okay. I don't know if you, if you watch TV. No sé si ven el 6 o ven antena o cable. But if you watch, if you watch TV, for example, at uh, the movie or movies start at 9, 9 p.m., if I'm not mistaken, right? En el 6, creo que siempre empiezan a esa hora, at 9, at 9 p.m., okay? It's a program activity, okay? It's planned. We already have a time established. Ya tenemos un tiempo, un tiempo establecido para esa actividad. Entonces, si ya está establecido, vamos a utilizar simple present. Ok. Talking about the versions, hablando de las versiones, les mencionaba que hay dos. Ok. One, in one version, we are going to, this is like the, the DAS, let's say the DAS version. The other version is the DO version. We have two auxiliaries, right? We have does and we have do. And the formula. With this group or version, we have to use an S, right? Con la versión 1, utilizamos das y el verbo lleva una S, ¿verdad? Nos acordamos de, de la regla de la S. Version 2. Miss. Yes? Sorry. Christian. Eh, en la tercera oración de, Ah, thank you I missed the start yes. o solo sería así Starts, sorry, I missed the yes the Start, okay Yes, thank you, Christian Okay, so here we have subjects Let's see if you remember um, 
Lily, when do we use do? ¿Con quiénes se utiliza do, Lily? When do we use do? Which subjects? ¿Con cuáles sujetos? O hablan de otra persona. Mm. Examples. We have the subjects, right? Mm. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Which subjects uh, use do? De los sujetos, de la lista de sujetos, ¿cuáles van con do? You. You, yes. And. You. Ajá. Uh -huh. I. I do with they. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I is also in the list. We is in the list. They. they is in the list. And plural, if you have plural nouns. Okay. Examples, if you say movies, um, plants, plural things, we use the, this. This version, ¿ok? Cuando son también los nombres. A veces no vamos a usar el sujeto, sino que el nombre. Si es plural, utilizamos esa version. Y está das. Ok, when do we use das, Eli? When do we use das? In it is singular. It, uh -huh. he, she. Correct. He, she, it. Or singular, right? Singular. singular nouns. Singular nouns. Okay, like here, the movie is singular. It's only one. I use the yes. Class, only one. I use the yes. Okay, thank you, Lily. Examples with version two. Mm. Version two. Okay. Let me put it here. I, I, I am in this group. I start to work at 6 a.m. It's a program activity. I start to work at 6 a.m. And let's say... We, or, well, I have a break at 7 a.m. It's a program activity, a plan activity. Example number three. Um, yes? Do you have a comment, Nelson? Nelson, no. Okay, another program activity. Hello, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, teacher, tenía apagado el micrófono. Ah, okay. okay. Eh, eh, dinner, oh, I had a dinner at uh, eh, uh, 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have a dinner. Mm -hmm. We have a dinner at 7 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Yes. So the idea is that if you are talking about plan activities, you can use simple present, affirmative sentences. Okay. Negative sentences, really quick. Negative sentences. For example, we can say the class, and I use the auxiliary, right? Doesn't, the class doesn't start, no S. We remove the S, we eliminate the S. The class doesn't start at 7 p.m. Okay, it's a negative, a negative example, just for you to see the structure. The movie 
again. You can use, use it like that. Does not start at 8 p.m. Okay, with this version, version one. Version two, I don't, I don't start to work at 6, I'm sorry, at 5 a.m. I don't. We use don't. We don't have a reservation at 5 p.m. Okay, negative sentences. We have to use the auxiliaries. Ya en oraciones negativas, entonces ahí ya entran, ¿verdad?, en acción los auxiliares. In affirmative sentences, we don't use them. En oraciones afirmativas, no se utilizan. But in negative sentences or questions, yes. Más adelante, in a few minutes, we will be creating questions. Vamos a estar creando oras, eh, preguntas en sentences. Así que solo para recordarle cómo se, se hacen las preguntas. I'm going to give you some examples, okay? We have to change the position of the subject and the auxiliary, okay? Change the position of the subject. Um, well, maybe an easier way. The class starts at 8 p.m. Question. Only put does at the beginning. Does. And we will use a question mark. Question. Does the class start and remove? Remove the yes. And now it's a question. Only put does at the beginning. And now you have created a question. Number two, the class finishes at 10 p.m. Question, does, and now we remove the S. We eliminate the S, right? No S. And let's put a question mark. Does the class finishes at 10 p.m.? And now it's a question. Version two or group two, let's create a question. I start to work at 6 a.m. Question, let's put do at the beginning. Do I start to work at 6 a.m.? And question mark. And now you have created a question. I have a break at 7, 7 a.m. To create a question, let's put do at the beginning and question mark at the end. Okay, that's the only thing we do. Do you understand? Do you have questions for me? Questions? No? Okay, ven que fácil es hacer questions? Solo colocan el auxiliar al principio. Y con eso, you have created a question, okay? Now, if you want to, you can make more complicated questions. Ahora, si ustedes quieren, pueden crear preguntas más complicadas, ¿verdad? Podemos utilizar WH questions. Is that what, when, why, how, etc. IWH questions, information questions, si queremos saber más detalles. Ok, ¿qué hay que hacer? Solo se coloca al principio. Example, do I have a break at 7 a.m.? It's a yes, no question. Esa es una pregunta de sí o no, right? Yes, no. Pero si quiero saber más información, solo voy a colocar the WH question at the beginning. Like this, okay, why? Why do I have a break at 7 a.m.? Ahí está una WH question. 
Okay. Now you have exceptions. Recuerden que hay exceptions. No todas justamente van a ser así. Hay unas que varían. But most of them work like this. Okay. We will be practicing this. First of all, can you tell me a program activity you have? Please tell me one program activity you have. Maybe an activity you, you always have on Fridays or on Sundays, on Saturdays. Tell me one program activity. Who is ready? Galileo. Yeah. Okay. Tell for, us one for, program activity. For, exa for example, every single Friday after my work, mm -hmm. I... I drive from San Salvador to Usulco. It's every single Friday. Uh -huh. Okay, that you can use simple present. And if you have the time, we mention the time. But in this case, it's after work. Ese sería como el, el tiempo, right? After work. Okay, cuando utilizamos simple present para program activities, Vamos a usualmente mencionar el momento, okay, the time. If you look at these examples, todos tienen como un time word, right? Porque es algo program que ya está establecido. It's already established. Wendy? Wendy? Can you, can you read the sentences? Uh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry, <laughs> Can you read the sentences that we have here, please? Okay. Matt service at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Andrea cleans the table from 5 p.m. to 9 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. Okay, they all have that in common, okay? It's a program activity. We mentioned the moment. We mentioned the time. When we are talking about program activities, si no es Está justamente establecido, maybe you can use a preposition. I, in your case, Galileo, I usually go to Sulatan around, around 5 p.m. or between 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. para más o menos agregar un time work. But after work, en cierto sentido, es nuestro time work. That's the moment. Okay, who else is ready? Okay. You can also use the chat, okay? We can use the chat and we can use our voice too. One program activity. Something you always do, something that it's program. Yeah. Hi, Elena. Um, I can say um, every day I connect to team meeting at 7 a.m. That's perfect. Uh -huh. It's a program activity. Thank you, Elena. Who else is ready? One program activity? For example, I have one. I take the attendance at 9 p.m. And it's time to take the attendance because it's almost 9. So I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. And then you give me your examples. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Brian. Present. Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Frida Janine. Jose Galileo. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Thank you. And then 
Laura, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. María Ivania. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Listen. Okay. Oscar Listen. Arnulfo. Thank you, Omar. Present. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Santos. Cristian Ernesto. Present, Miss. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. And I'm Mayra. Here. Thank you. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Mayra. Okay, who else is ready? One program activity that you have. Me, teacher, I had the okay. party, the birthday party on Saturday. Ah, okay. And what time? What time is it? I think he, do you hear me? What time is it, Juan Carlos? 5 p.m. Ah, 5, 5 p.m. Until oh. the body wants It's it. over. Uh -huh. Until it's over. Okay, thank you. Who else is next? Are you ready, Arnoldo? Or Maria Concepcion? Carlos? One program activity? I have a family meeting on Sunday at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, uh-huh. Thank you. Who I else? have, I have, okay. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. It's okay, go ahead. I have visitors the short every Sunday at 8 a.m. Thank you, Maria Concepcion, it's correct. Rodrigo, ready? Uh, the Friday I have meeting 10 a.m. My boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Are you ready, Mayra or Ivani? I have to visit my friend at 2 p.m. in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wendy? I in what day? I'm sorry. In what day? What day? Any day. Any day you wish. Any day. Uh huh. Okay. I work. No. I start my work. Um, 8 a.m. Thank you. Is there anybody else ready? Okay. Is there anybody else? Hay alguien más listo who has the sentence? Oh my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I okay. a meeting with the boss from Friday at 9 a.m. On Friday at 9 a.m. Okay, thank you. You can send the ones who haven't said it, you can send it in the chat. Okay, si no la han mencionado, la pueden enviar ahí en el chat. We will continue with activity number five in the book. Use the verbs from the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. Program activities about you or people you know or your family. 
okay? Using the verbs you have in this list. Vamos a hacer oraciones y vamos a utilizar los verbos que están ahí. If you can, please do it by chat. Si es posible, lo pueden hacer en el chat para que yo pueda recibir las, las oraciones y las pueda leer. In one message, in one message, all the sentences. Y en cualquier caso, yo les mando ahí corrections or if needed. Okay, five sentences. Do you have questions about activity, about activity number five? Exercise number five? No, no questions. María Concepción. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es respecto a, a, ¿cómo se llama? a lo que está en, en el libro. Uh -huh. Sí, vamos a hacer oraciones. Oraciones Hello. utilizando los verbos que están acá en el libro. Work, open, arrive, close, and go. And they are going okay, to be about you. program activities. Mm -hmm. The sentences can okay. be about you or other people. No necesariamente pueden ser de nosotros, pueden ser sobre alguien más. I'm going to get my, my bottle of water. I'll be right back, okay?
Okay, I'm reading the sentences that you have sent and they look very good. Uh, Galileo, they look fine. You use the rule of the S, they look perfect. Elena, in one sentence, you're welcome. Peter, use starts, Elena. We use the S because it's a, it's a third person. So Peter, I will send it in the chat, starts. His work in this case, his work, oops, like this, and then you continue with that change. And I'm going to check WhatsApp. You meant you sent some there, right? Okay, Juan Carlos, I work every day. I open the door from seven. I what do you mean, Juan Carlos? I open the door. Like you, you are opening the door. Yes. From seven yes. to eight. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Mm, just maybe the third one. Solo quizás la última. I arrive early every day. Tiene que ser. It's okay. Es otro uso de, de simple present como una regular activity. But think about program activities. Algo que ya está programado. Maybe I arrive at 6 a.m. or I arrive at 7, 7 a.m. Thank okay. you. Okay. And Lily, I work from Monday to Saturday. I, I open, uh, Lily, thank you. Just don't forget the subject. It's important that we use the structure. Subject, verb, complement. I open at 7 o'clock. I arrive. 10 minutes before opening, I close at four o'clock. I go 10 minutes before the closing time. Blanca, it will be Allison opens, opens. Okay, in the meantime, for the ones who already finished, para los que ya terminaron, the first activity, we will start uh, we will start with the second one. Vamos a empezar con la segunda, los que ya terminaron la primera. You have to you have to tell your partner what is a regular day like in your work. And you have to use simple present to tell the activities. Okay. Van a describir, you're going to describe to your partner, activities you do on a regular day. Van a describir lo que hacen usualmente with program activities to your partner. If you already finish, si ya terminaron, pueden empezar a, a pensar or to elaborate your ideas about what you do. Pueden empezar a crear sus, sus ideas para lo que le van a decir a su partner. In the meantime, and if you have a question, let me know. Okay, I can try to help you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria Elena, that one is, is correct. Muy bien, I open windows. Aha, uh -huh, Eli, that's good.
Okay, in, in three, three more minutes, guys, we will continue with the next activity. Okay, so try to finish in the next minutes. And then we will continue with activity number six. Carlos, how are you doing? Do you have your sentences? I don't see them in the in the chat box. Yes. You have them. Yes. Or did you send them? O las envió y yo no las hallo. Hasta me hizo una observación de la última que la puse en futuro. Ah, in the ah, sorry, you sent it in the WhatsApp group. It's true. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, Maria Concepcion, just the, the other one, just, just say I arrive or I have to. I have to arrive to the church. If you want to, I will send it to you in, in the chat. Okay, thank you. I have seen the, the sentences you've sent. Just um, general feedback, okay, general feedback before we continue with the next activity. Okay, so remember, we have two versions of simple present. We use version one, does, with he, she, and it. In affirmative sentences, we have to use the S. Acuérdense que con los que utilizan das, con terceras personas, hay que poner una S in affirmative sentences, cuando son afirmativas. Version two, the verb goes in the base form. Con la versión dos, no le ponemos nada al verbo. It goes in the base form. Y aquí está la lista, with I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. Okay, now we will continue with the next activity. We will work in pairs and this is what we will be doing. Number one, talk about your regular day with program activities. Primero van a platicar okay, sobre sus program activities in your workplace. Actividades programadas en su trabajo. And number two, you are going to present the information in the form of a conversation. Luego van a tomar algunas ideas y van a presentar lo que han hablado in the form of a conversation. Van a presentarlo en la forma de una conversation con algunas, with some of the activities you mentioned. Con algunas de las actividades que, que mencionaron. Okay, so at the end you have a conversation. Vamos a hacer una conversation al final using simple present. Okay, say hello, 
say goodbye and have a conversation okay with your own ideas do you have a question before i i divide you questions about this activity no no questions no okay so in that case laura you are going to work with Maria Concepcion. And then we will have Ana Beatriz and Mayra. Number three, Galileo and Arnoldo. Number four, let, let's listen to Eli and Carlos. Number five, Elena and Omar. And then next room, we will have Lily and Ivania. Christian, okay, well, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos and Nelson. Then Blanca, Blanca and Rodrigo. And lastly, Wendy. Wendy and Oscar. Please open the invitation. Hi, Cristian. Este, no sé si usted puede y está ahí, puede hacer su conversation solito, como un diálogo. Si usted quiere, no sé cómo se siente of de course. salud. Ok, y luego me lo mandan. Of course, miss. Ok, you can send it to me by WhatsApp or you can, okay. you can send it here on the Zoom chat. Ok, have, ok, miss. Uh... Ahorita lo, 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 lo voy a hacer y se lo voy a enviar al WhatsApp. Ok, ajá, un dialogue about um, program activities. Ok. Ok, Christian, I'm going to let you here alone because I'm going to visit your classmates. Voy a dejar aquí okay. un ratito solo. Okay. ok, see you in a moment. See you. Ah, ok. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Teacher. For... Yes. Eh, eh, lo primero es hacer las, las oraciones, las actividades, activity de cuando uno llega a la oficina, digamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right now, you just have to talk. Ok. En segundo lugar, es como armar una conversación con preguntas y respuestas de esas actividades. Um, yes, ajá, como una conversación con, con dos amigos que no se ven mucho y quieren saber sobre la ah, vida okay. del otro. Ajá, puede okay. ser. La pregunta uno y las dos podemos contestar eso, este, digamos lo que nos pregunten, algo así, para que intercambiemos la información. Como un tercer amigo, digamos, que es el que pregunta y, y, y respondemos las dos lo que nos está preguntando, ¿no? Eh, no, like no, in the form pero of no lo vamos a presentar. No lo vamos a presentar, Beatrice. teacher. Yes, you're going to present it. I'll give you an example. Vaya. Algo okay. natural, corto, ok, si sí, cuesta, corto. Ok, so, hello, María Concepción, how are you today? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Ajá, okay. y ella me contesta, ¿verdad? No. Ah, ok. Y luego me dice, ah, I'm tired. I'm, I am tired because I work a lot. Where do you work? I work in blah, 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 blah. Oh, ok. And what do you do in the mornings? Um, at 9 a.m. I have meetings. 
on, on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Y ahí van. Ah, como estuve en una reunión de tal hora, tal okay. hora, me Ajá. pasó esto, revisé, Correct. review, report, financia. Ajá, Ajá. Okay. ya ves, ya ves que sí la pueden okay. hacer ahí. Ya les di la idea. Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you, teacher. Right. You're teacher. welcome. I'm going to let you continue. Okay. Si me necesitan, pues ahí me avisan y yo les vengo a ayudar. No. Ok, le timbramos, okay. teacher. Sí, sí, yo la invertí. Hi, what are you doing in this moment? The sentences. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. okay. Okay, I'm going to be with you a moment. I'm going to okay. be with you a moment. Or maybe I'm going to come back when you start presenting the information so I can hear you. I'm going to visit other rooms in this moment. All right. Yo, luego, I, I arrive to the office I'm at 7 a.m. I mm. take my breakfast from 7.15 to 7.40, 45 a.m. Okay. I start to work at 8 a.m. until 12 o'clock. Uh, we take the lunch with my partner at 12 o'clock. Um, we will come back at 8 p.m. at the office. Mm -hmm. And I finish my work at 5 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna read my sentences. Okay. I just have six sentences. Number one, I get in to work at 8 a.m. Number two, I check in the first access and I go to the office and turn on my computer at 8, 5 a.m. Number three, I open Outlook to check emails and I respond some emails too at 8, 10 a.m. Number four, I take a little review on the board about the import status at 8.30 a.m. Number five, I check inventory stock at 10 p.m. 10 p.m., sorry. I check inventory stock at 10 a.m. Number six, Gustavo takes production planification at 11 a.m. Yes, only that. Okay. Teacher, okay. welcome. Hi, I wanted to, to listen to you a moment. That's why I'm, I'm here. <laughs> okay, what do you think about our... They look good. Our... Mm -hmm. Good structure. Uh -huh, good structure. I can see that you uh -huh, you shared the, the routine, your plan activities, and now it's moment to elaborate everything in the form of a conversation, right? In a practical way. Mm -hmm. This is easy. Which, which uh -huh. part? 
simple present <laughs> would it's be not easy for would me. Be, was... I, I can speak. I can speak. I, I... Galileo. Galileo is a humble, but she's a master. No. Yeah. He's a no, he's a I, master. I can speak really. I can write down. I can type in the computer uh, a little bit, but speak. I can speak fluent, and I try. But little by little, Galileo. little by little, you're going to get better. Like babies, baby steps. You know that, yeah. like Galileo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, Galileo and me, uh, we have the, the, the same problem. I write, mm -hmm. I I understand, mm -hmm. but the, for me, the most big problem is to speak, mm -hmm. uh, elaborate, uh, create a conversation in, uh -huh. in a real in a real in a real time. Uh -huh. In this moment, in the in the in the notebook, it's easy. I write <laughs> and I think uh, slowly. When uh -huh. in the moment to uh, speak with other people or other person, this is my big problem. Yes, we have to practice. Practice more. And I'm going to try to give you a lot of conversation activities so you practice elaborating activities. But I like that you, Galileo and Arnoldo, you always try to speak in English and that is very well. Because even if it's difficult, you do your best to express the ideas. And I understand, I understand what you say, so keep doing it and it will help you, okay? Uh -huh. So Thank yes, you. try to elaborate the the conversation because I will I will uh, is extract you from here in a moment to listen to the conversations. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go, but you're going well. Okay, you're going well. Uh, if you we... need... mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry, sorry. No. no, I was going to tell you that if in case you need feedback, I will let you know in the main room after I have listened to to all okay. of you. We appreciate your support. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have any other Thank comments? You for your You're welcome. Is there anything no. else I can help? You? No. Okay, I'm going to let you continue. All is, all is okay. Okay, see you later. Yeah. Bye. See you okay. mm -hmm. From 2 10 p.m. 2 okay? 10, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 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 A.M. Ten P.M. Wow. A.M. 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 P.M. Ah, A.M. A.M. Oh. Eight A.M. Two. I check the kilometers. Check kilometers. For more fifty cars. Fifty cars. Fifty cars. Fifty cars. Okay. Because I need program. Because I need program. Uh, uh, he needs. Uh -huh, he needs. Need program the maintenance. Program the maintenance. Exact. Exactly. Exactly. The maintenance. Okay. After that, check my email. Check your email. Okay. And send the report. And send report. Report, yes. Okay. Hola. A mí me faltó. Hi. Me faltó el que mande report. Oh. I'm visiting you a moment. Al final del día. How are you, Wendy? Yeah. Está cansadita. 
Yes, pero, uy, demasiado. A lot, I'm sorry. Where is that? A lot. No, yes. I long to leave the office. Ah, oh. para ir a despertarla ahí. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. But yes, how are you doing? A las 9.40 vamos a volver al main room. Okay, ya en, in three minutes. Okay. Pero ya casi. ¿no? Okay. Es que a veces creo que también es la fecha, ya es jueves, ya uno ya se va sintiendo más cansado de toda la semana. <laughs> Ya necesita el descanso. Y <risa> casi. Sí. Ok, ok. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to let Thank you continue. You. Remember, in two minutes we will be back. Ok, okay. see you later. Ok. Ok. Para ponerlo de una sola vez en la pantalla. Ah, ok. Lo puede compartir de está en la pantalla. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Parece porque no, 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 no se ¿Qué? puede aquí Escucho con Zoom. Ahí. Me, ajá, me delante. Okay, well, I don't know if there's something I can help you with before we go back to the other room. No. Okay. No, la conversación que tenemos ahorita es el saludo, lo que dijo hasta el principio. ¿eh? Por ejemplo, hello Blanca, what do you do on your work day? Mm -hmm. Así podemos iniciarlo, ¿verdad? Correcto. Yes. Okay. Yes. Y luego, de, de, luego detallamos, la, hemos separado las actividades en the morning y las actividades en the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the form of a conversation. Okay. Uh -huh. Como, what do you do? Okay. Oh, I do this. Really? That sounds mm -hmm. interesting, right? Little comments make the conversation sound more natural. Si pueden agregar comentarios, hacen que la conversación se oiga más natural, ¿verdad? Porque uno siempre reacciona, ah, okay. como que diga, ajá, así como ahorita yo digo algo, usted me contesta. Aunque sea un pequeño, como, yes. ajá, yes, ah, it's true. Ah, uno okay. tiende a, a como contestar de una manera breve. Así que si pueden agregar comments, eso va a hacer que se oiga más natural. Como, what do you do? Um, I work in Pollo Campero. Really? That sounds good. Do you like it? Okay, hay que tratar de hacer lo que suene más natural. Okay, vamos a ir trabajando natural. en esto little by little. We will okay. go back. Hi, welcome back. I hope all of you are ready finished so you can present your ideas and your conversation. If you didn't finish, Improvise, okay? Improvise and try to say something to complete the conversation. Si no terminaron, traten de improvisar. Vamos a estar improvisando un poquito más para terminar esa conversation, okay? And make it natural. Is there a volunteer who would like to go first? Volunteer? Yes, teacher. Excellent. I like that attitude. Okay, so Carlos and Ellie. Okay, I'm going to give you the spotlight so all of us are going to see you. One Only one. conversation. Uh huh. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Carlos. How are you doing? Marvelous. Why? I'm very busy in my work. What is your regular day at your workplace life? I get out at 5 a.m., I take a shower, I dress, I go to my work. How busy are you? Mm, I have many meetings and I attend many people. Okay, I see. And you? What is a regular day of your workplace like? 
I get up at 4 a.m. I arrive about work at 6 a.m. I talk to my class classmates about the activities. I check my emails and I report the daily results. How this how busy are you? Yes, I have very busy. Only that teacher. Only that. Thank you. It sounded very natural. I like it a lot. So thank you very much, Carlos and Ellie. We will continue. And again, just like yesterday, I will give you feedback, but later, okay? Once we have listened to all your classmates. Let's continue. Galileo and Arnoldo, can you continue? Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, Aldo, go ahead. We don't finish, but improvise. No, we try improvise to, uh -huh, to the ending. Improvise. Hi, Galileo. How are you? Hi, Aldo. I can't complain. Okay. What's going? What? What do you? What going? Where do you going? Where do you going? Sorry. I'm going to work. What about you? Me too. I'm going to my work. Okay. What is your daily routine at workplace? I arrive to my office at say 7 a.m. and I start my work 2 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay. Until until 5 p.m. And you? What is your uh, schedule? My schedule is I write to my work at 8, 8 a.m. and go to my office and open my uh, laptop and check my emails. Um, I respond some emails and check production planification and check some activities about the import status. Interesting. That's, that's it, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. What did you launch? It was, it long was, time. <laughs> okay. it was natural I, too. <laughs> okay, uh, my last time is uh, 12 or 12 meridian uh -huh. at Excellent. noon nice to see you at noon, at noon. nice to see you too God okay. bless you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye okay thank you we will continue okay later i can i can give you some feedback to all of you let's listen to lily lily and ivania Ready? Yes. yes. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Ivania. Hi, Lily. How are you at work? Uh, very fine, thank you. What does do at work? Uh, I review the accounting record and Register uh, all the accounting record. What does right. do I work? Um, I work with great documents, uh, called client and fill out the form and present the in set racing. Okay, uh, do you work all weekend? Yes. Oh, great. It's interesting. Thank you. That's it, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ivania and, and Lily. 
I'm going to send just the one change for one question in the chat in one moment. But in the meantime, let's continue with Laura and Maria Concepcion. Hey, teacher. Uh, Are you here? Hello. Maria Concepcion? Yes. Ah, OK. Uh, there she is. Hello, Mary. Who is your day? Sorry. My day is very tired. Why, Mary? Today I have a meeting from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And what do you do then? I have my lunch at 12 p.m. What time do you return to work? I come back at 1 p.m. Do you have more meetings in the afternoon? I do not have any more meetings, but I reviewed some reports until 5 p.m. Hasta ahí, teacher. <laughs> Only. <laughs> okay, thank you. But yes, you use you use um, simple present to talk about schedule activities, like what do you do from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. or, or sorry, 10 a.m. That is an schedule activity. Maybe you could have planned just okay. the goodbye part. Tal vez la, la parte del goodbye podrían haber como eh, improvise, improvisado para despedirse. But besides that, it was good. Thank you. Let's continue okay, thank with. You, you're welcome. Oh, just one thing. Busy. Busy will be like ocupado, right? And cansado, it will be tired or, or exhausted. Okay, let's listen to Maria Elena and Omar. Hi, hello, Omar. Guys, without you seeing, how are you? Hello, Marilena. Fine, and you? I'm tired, but we have a work. Um, I want to ask you. Who is the planner for the next day? This day I have the following activities scheduled. Um, on print day, I have to open the company at seven o'clock. At night, I, I have to set the dispatch route at 2 p.m. I have a meeting with the with the boss on Monday. I have a general meeting at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. I have a presentation in the on and payment of taxes. On Friday I have payroll payment and you you got it okay. I am um, checking email every day at 7 a.m. I have a meeting with my office on Monday at 9, 9 a.m. And with the education team meeting every monthly at 8 30 a.m. So see you and I see again. All of this. <laughs> bye, bye. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Elena and Omar. I appreciate it. Let's listen to Oscar and Wendy. Can you please continue? Okay. Hello, Oscar. Thank you. 
Oscar. Hello, Wendy. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Uh, what do you do in your work? Oh, in my work, uh, every day, I check the kilometer for more 15 cars. Uh, I need the oh. program maintenance for this car. And you, Wendy, what do you uh, regular day in your workplace? My first activity is I clean chairs, desks, and all office at 7.30 a.m. Um, I, I open the office at 8 a.m. And you? It's a one busy day. Oh. Muy ocupado. <laughs> okay. I um in all day I am square the WhatsApp at 8 30 a.m. I check my emails, I call the clients and sell travel tickets, make American visa forms. Oh, really? Me too. I send email. I check my email too in my job. Okay, Wendy. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. And thank you, Mario. It was very natural too. I appreciate it. Let's listen to Anna I know, and Mayra. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. Let's listen to Ana and Mayra. Oh. Oops. Hello, Mayra. How are you? Hello, Beatrice. Very nice. What do you feel when you get to work? I have very early. First, open the email. A second, check the report, the inventory. I have the review payment supplier and complement the, the report sales day. When do you take your break? I, or rather, Tora. I have 10 a.m. And you, Beatrice? I went. We start work in the office. The first is to make the daily production report. The, with the income on writing material, we continue with the closing. Go, sorry. It's okay. You can you can leave it there. I know that it happens. It happens to me all the time. Closing <laughs> of of the other of the course that there is the intermission, the 20 minutes would finish at 4 setting the end of the activities on the day. Excellent, Betty. There are many activities, but it's done on time. Thank you, Maya, for the information. Bye, take care. Okay, thank you, Ana and Mayra. Let's listen to Blanca, Blanca and Rodrigo. Hello, hello, Blanca. What do you do on your work day? You know, in the morning, I check all the materials in the data. If consume, they say, what do you do with your work day? Uh, I arrive at 7.30 a.m. 
and open the office at A and M. Present the sub report of the day before at 10 a.m. Oh, and what time do you have breakfast? I had a coffee before going to work. And in the afternoon, what are you doing at work? In the afternoon at uh, 2 p.m., meeting with my boss in the office. Okay. You have a busy day? Yes, Blanca. Bye bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay, Blanca. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I like the, the way you did it too. It was natural. And lastly, we have Juan Carlos and Nelson. Can you please share your presentation? Okay. Mr. Gavarrete, can you help me? What is your schedule tomorrow? I open the door at nine. Hello? Is there something wrong? Creo que tiene problemas con el con la conexión teacher, que me costó igual. Cuando estuve con ah, él. Ah, okay. Can you read the conversation? Do you have the conversation? Eh, or you don't? The idea is uh, I ask him eh, cuál es la, 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 las actividades de él para yo poder hacer después otras actividades. O sea, era ah, como que yo era el, el supervisor de él. Ah, okay. Y él me decía las actividades. Okay, all right, yes, in that case, it's fine, you can leave it like that, it's difficult when we have internet problems because we cannot hear, cuesta cuando nos falla ahí el internet, but thank you in that case, thank you for trying, Nelson, too, um, Galileo, today is your turn for the 10 minute session, can you stay with me today? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm just going to take the attendance and then you are free to go. Okay, let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Frida Janine. Jose Galileo. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. <laughs> Laura. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. Present. María Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Elena. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Nelson Gavarrete. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay, thank you. Zaira, Zaira Marleni. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Thank you. Jenny Suleima. Christian Lazo. Jose Arnoldo, thank you. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. And Mayra Present. Moreno. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Okay, and I got your message here, Nelson. Okay, everyone Pero in that no case. Me dijo. I <laughs> did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wendy Zabaleta. Solo quería Present ver si estaba teacher. despierta. Okay, Wendy. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thank you.
Take care. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 See you later. Okay, one more. Okay, Galileo. So as you already know, this session is designed for you um, to choose what you would like to practice or what you would like to ask in the next minutes. So is there something I could help you with, Galileo? Uh, just activate the microphone. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> No yes, problem. you can you can help me. The last night you said or you talked about uh would and could mm -hmm. would be and could be. Yes. I I I'm not really clearly about the use of gerium ing. Ah. ah okay. What I can okay. use gerund when I am using a wood or could be. Okay, let's let me share the whiteboard here, and I will try to to explain that. Okay, so there are different ways to use gerunds. Okay, there are different uses. A gerund is the verb right plus ing. So, for example, we have the verb travel. The, the gerund form is traveling or work in the gerund form, working. One way to use it, we use it when, this is one option, when we have two verbs together. We use the second one in the gerund form. That is one use of gerunds. But yesterday we mentioned that we can use gerunds as subjects at the beginning of the sentence. When you want to talk about activities, Galileo, you don't want to talk about people, but you want to talk about activities. Let's first think about some activities. Can you give me some examples? Talking about activities, Galileo? Uh, I drive my car every morning. But tell me about the activity, driving. Not about you, driving. but driving. Tell me something about this. About driving? Driving, uh-huh, because that is the subject of the sentence. Uh, driving. My car would be a pleasure. Yes, oh. but without would or or could, sin utilizarlos. Okay. Just the gerund. An example in a general way. Driving Dri cars. Driving, driving cars. In El Salvador is dangerous sometimes because there are many bad drivers. I'm not talking about you or me, but I'm talking about the activity of driving in El Salvador in a general way. Can you think yeah. about another activity? Yeah. Uh, uh, swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimming in the pool, maybe. Uh -huh. What about swimming in the pool? Swimming in the pool is so relaxing. Uh huh. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sorry. It's so relaxing. Okay, this is one option. You can also use verbs. Swimming in the pool has a lot of benefits. Or swimming in the pool helps people 
in different ways, okay? I create sentences using gerunds. Now, okay. would be, would be and could be. Do you remember the use of them, Galileo? Yeah. What is the use? The use is um, possibility. Mm -hmm. That uh, gonna be real that we are talking about. Uh -huh. So possibility of future plans, future ideas, right? That is the use of would be or could be. But after them, you have to use an adjective. We have to use an adjective after would be or could be. When you imagine something that could happen, and now you can say, you have the opportunity. An opportunity, Galileo, is presented to you. Maybe it's the following one. We say, Galileo, let's travel to Miami next month. This is the idea. And now you think about future plans. You express a comment about going to Miami. What could you say about going to Miami, uh, Galileo? If I go uh -huh. to Miami, mm -hmm. it would be a pleasure to me or would be a benefit. Beneficial. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or yes, it would be would be a pleasure. Yeah, it would be so good, right? If you want to continue, you can say it will be a pleasure to, and then mention the activity to go to Miami. This is another possibility. Use to, and then you mention the verb. Another idea. It could be a good idea to, and then you can mention a verb if you want to, to express a future event. It could be a good idea to learn English. <laughs> uh -huh. Or maybe to have more conversations. Okay in the class okay it could be a future possibility like it could be good to have some to have more conversations in the class you mentioned could be in an adjective can you give me another example yeah it uh, could be uh, great to increase my, my knowledge in English. Correct, uh-huh. You're talking about the possibility of a better future, of a good future. And you can start with, it could be, or you can say the verb at the beginning. Maybe you can say, hmm, this, practicing, more English would be excellent. And then you use for, for me. This is another possibility. You mentioned the activity at the beginning with ING, <clears throat> and then you mentioned who it will be for. Okay, so there are okay. different the options. Key is, the key is thinking, thinking about a possibility. Mm -hmm. Thinking the about the possibility. To, uh, um, about the would be or could be. Uh -huh. could be uh, yes, because could be or would be in Spanish is like sería. That would be the word we would use for could be or would be. 
So if we say sería, we have to use an adjective like sería bueno, sería malo. So you mm -hmm. have to use an adjective. What will be good? ¿Qué sería bueno? Going to the beach, traveling to Miami. Okay, so it depends on what you want to say, the way you elaborate the idea. Yeah, I got it, teacher. I got it. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so I guess in that case, we will stop here. Is there something else you want to ask before we go? No, teacher, that is the principal doubt. Ah, okay. Okay, Galileo, in that case, we will disconnect the, the Zoom meeting and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Have a good dreams. Good night. God bless you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye.